welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about included angle. So, ano ba ang definition ng included angle? Included angle is the angle between two sides. So, dito sa triangle natin, we have triangle MON. We have actually three interior angles. Angle M, angle O, and angle N. Okay? So, pwede nating i-identify na ang included angle. So, we start with angle M. So, angle M is the included angle between side MO, eto yon, and side MN. The next one, we have angle O. Eto naman yung angle O. Angle O is the included angle between side OM and side ON. Okay? And the last one, we have angle N. So, angle N is the included angle between side OM and side MN. Okay, so paano naman kung ganitong klase ng triangle ang kukuha na natin ng included angles? So, we have triangle KLM and triangle PNM. Okay, so dalawang triangle yan, ha? Triangle KLM and triangle PNM. Okay. Pagkukuha tayo ng included angle, unahin muna natin yung unang triangle. So, let's start with angle K is the included angle between side KL and side KM. And then we have the second angle. Angle L is the included angle between LK and side LM. Now, what about the third angle? Kailangan i-name natin ito using the three letters. Kasi hindi natin po pwedeng uh, gawing angle M lang. Dahil, pag angle M lang, ang daming angle M. We have to identify which is which. Okay? Or which angle are we talking about. So, we are talking about the angle here. So, ibig sabihin, that is KML. So, that is angle KML. Or, pwede rin angle LMK. Diba, pwede tayong mag-name. Balik ta rin lang yung dalawang letter sa sides. Pero, yung gitna, hindi mababago. Kasi, yun yung tinutukoy natin na angle. So, angle KML is the included angle between side MK and side ML. Na-identify natin ang included angles ng first triangle. Now, let us identify the included angles in the second triangle. So, in triangle PNM, Angle P, start tayo sa angle P, is the included angle between, o oh, anong sides? PN and PM. PN and PM. The second one is angle N, is the included angle between NM and NP. NM and N, P. And the last one, angle M uli ito na tinutukoy. Pero hindi angle M ang isusulat natin. Gagawin natin angle P, M, N. Okay? Angle P, M, N. Ibig sabihin, ito yung tinutukoy niya. Is the included angle between side M, N and side MP. So, till my next video, bye for now!